I am making a math mech deck profile. This deck is a really fun OTK deck that, or at least my version at least, I am made to just go blind second. So there aren't, but for my deck to work, there aren't very many hand traps, but me. Starting off with the monsters, I play three copies of Math Mech Multiplication. Multiplication's effects, you can target level four Cyburst Monster Control and its level becomes eight till the end of the turn. However, the main effect you use with it is its effect of when it's sent to the graveyard, you can target one math mech you control and double its attack till the end of the turn. And most of these are meant to power up a certain level 12 synchro on the extra deck. Then there's three, I play three math mech addition. Addition's effect is you can target one monster on the field, it gains a thousand attack till the end of the turn, it's a free summon. You can only summon addition once this way. And it cannot attack when you use its effect. You can only use each of its effects once per turn. Then I play three copies of Math Mech Subtraction. The exact same as Addition except takes away a thousand. Then I play three copies of Math Mech Sigma. It's a level four tuner that if you don't have any monsters in your extra monster zone, it's a free summon. However, when summoned this way, it's banished when it leaves the field. And it can only be used for the synchro summon of a Math Mech Synchro Monster. I play three copies of Math Mech Nabla. Nabla's effect you can tribute a Cyburst monster, especially on a Math Mech monster from your deck, usually m multiplication, and then use multiplication effect to make it level 8 so you can summon the level 12 synchro. However, if it gets sent to the grave, that you can target one Math Mech you control and it get, gets two attacks. Then to finish off the Math Mechs I play, I play three Math Mech Division. Math Mech Division lets you tribute a Cyburst monster in the extra monster zone, especially summon up to one level 4 Cyburst monster each from your hand and graveyard. Something I found out that actually helps me every once in a while, you can even use Division's effect if they're to just tribute something and not summon anything in the event that should ever happen. It only came up where it actually was helpful once. Then, But if it's sent to the grave, you can target one monster in the field, its attack is halved until the end of the turn. All these math mechs go to helping the level 12 synchro, which is OTK. And I play three copies of Balancer Lord, which is an honorary math mech. It lets you pay a thousand life points to normal summon a Cyber monster. In addition to your normal summon, you can only gain the effect once. But if it's banished, you can special on one level four lower monster, Cyber monster in your hand. Again, only once per turn. The point with this is you. You could banish it with either sign it back door or one of the link monsters of the extra deck. So that you end up searching for Nabla and then balance rewards you summon Nabla. And that is it for the monsters I play. Moving on to the spells. It is a blind go second deck, but I do play one pot of Everest for grind game, which only has happened once. And I play two mystical space typhoons because it's blind go second. Two one time passcodes. So I can get a free level 4 Cyburst token. You can only activate once per turn. Two back door. Target a Cyburst monster you control, banish it, and then add a Cyburst that has equal or less attack from your deck to your hand. And then it gets returned to the field after that. And however, it gets returns during the end phase. Then I play two billion Math Mac Billion Aid billion, Math Mac Billion Blade Nayuda. Nayuda's effect is you can, it can only be equipped to a Cyber's monster, and if that Cyber's monster battles, whether it attacks or is being attacked, you can send one Math Mech monster from your deck to the grave, and then it gains attack with that monster. So you can send Division, gain 1500 attack points, and then half the other monster it's battling. And I play three Math Mech Equation. This is a monster born for the Math Mechs, however the monster you revive gains 1000 attack until the end of the turn. Then probably the most expensive card that's played in this deck, three copies of Sign at Mining. With this effect, you can send one card from your hand to the grave to add a level four lower cybers from your deck to your hand. You can only activate once per turn, so essentially it's re it's a reinforcement of the army for cybers. To finish off the spells, I play three copies of Dark Ruler No More because it's a blind go second deck. So if your opponent sets up a bunch of monster negates, Dark Ruler No More definitely helps. And then to finish off the main deck, I play one Math Mech Super Factorial.
With this card, you, you target up to three cybers, or, sorry, you target up to three mathematic monsters in your graveyard with different names and activate one of its effects to either special summon all three of them and then synchro summon, or all three of them and then exceed summon. And then you can only activate once per turn, but you only play one. I have seen some decks where they play two of the two traps, but I like playing one of that one. Moving on to the extra deck, I play one copy of Link Krebo. This card can only be summoned through the effect of another Link. Then I play one copy of Link Disciple and Link Devotee. Disciple lets you tribute Devotee to then add... I believe it lets you add... I don't know. Disciple lets you draw a card and then place a card from your hand at the top, bottom of your deck. Normally you would tribute Link to Devotee and then Devotee gives you two tokens. Which then you use one to you use two one token and disciple to summon Cypress Wicked. And the other token to summon Link Krebo to trip your Wicked's effect of banishing a Cybers from your graveyard to then add a level four lower Cybers from your deck to your hand. So the point with this is you would if Bouncer Lord's in your grave, you banish Bouncer Lord, use its effect to search, and then Bouncer Lord would summon whatever you searched. Play one copy of Underclock Taker just to further fuel the OTK. One copy of Security Dragon. And then the highest link I play is Shooting Code Talker. It's actually never come up, but I found it helps with OTKing when you can't go into. when you walk, fall for cards like Dimensional Barrier, when your opponent calls Synchro. Moving on to the XZs, I play three copies of Prime Mathematical Laplacian. Laplacian has three effects that can be used when it's XZ summoned, so it's effects and on-summon effect. Where you, you can use any number of materials and then either, and then use each one of the following effects for each material you, you detached. But you can't use three materials and then use one effect three times. You have to use one of them for each one if you use all three. You send a random card your opponent from your hand to the grave, you send a monster and a spell they control to the grave, each of those being three different effects. But this is the monster you normally summon with Super Factorial. You normally all three summon this on your opponent's turn, and then use all of three with material, sending opponent's spell or trap, a monster, and a card from their hand to the grave. Then you play one copy of Prime Math Mech Alumbersion. Alumbersion has an effect depending on how many materials you use for it, because you can attach two to four to Activate an effect. You use two to add a math mat card from your deck to your hand, three to add a level four monster from your deck to your hand, or four to add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Which was funny because I thought about actually playing Regeki since Prime Math Mech Alumbersion can actually search for it. However, I don't because that seemed too much of a gimmick. Using five cards to search Regeki. And I play two copies of Geo Math Mech Magma. In Magma destroys a monster in battle, you can target up to two cards your opponent controls to destroy them. And then if it's destroy a battle or an opponent's card effect, then you can add one Math Mech card from your deck to your hand, and you can only use each of its effects once per turn. And then the main OTK monster of this deck, three Geo Math Mech Final Sigma. Final Sigma's effect is it's unaffected by card effects except for Math Mech in the extra monster zone. If it battles a monster, then it, it doubles any damage it dealt, deals, so it's actually a really beefy odd eyes. But also, if it's destroyed by a battle on an opponent's card effect, and, destroy it, and it gets destroyed, you can add one Math Mech card from your deck to your hand. But this is the main thing you'd use, because normally you would go use Addition on it to make it 4,000, equip it with Billion Blade Nayuda. Or normally you'd summon using Nabla and Multiplication, so it gets two attacks with six thousand attack. Addition on it so that its attack becomes seven thousand. Nayuda have it attack something, send division so that its attack goes to eighty five hundred, and then you have an opponent's monster. And whichever monster you're planning on attacking, before you attack it, you would use subtraction on it to weaken it further. The most I've had this card do was about thirty five thousand points damage. It was funny. And that is it for my for my Math Mech deck profile. If you have any ideas of what I can do to 
improve the deck, feel free to comment below. This is not in any way meant to be a, like a meta deck, but it is a really fun deck to use. So if you have any comments so I can improve it, comment down below. Thanks for watching.